So for the first question, just for, so for everyone watching, what's your name and what do you currently work on? Uh, so my name's Ben Alpert. Uh, I'm, right now I'm part of the React core team at Facebook. And uh, so I work on React ba basically full time as a part of my job and uh, just trying to make React better for everyone. How long have you been working with React? Um, so I first uh, got involved in React uh, basically the week it was open sourced. I saw it on Hacker News. Um, and I at the time I was uh, working on this uh, highly interactive tool. It's, it was a question editor for building math questions. And um, I was working on this tool and I had uh, sort of built up my own component abstractions, but uh, not in a, a very thoughtful way because I was busy building my app, not bu building a framework and uh, or, or a library. Um, and uh, then I, I saw React and I, I looked at the homepage and I, uh, I just thought, wow, this is exactly what I need in my app. And uh, like, why, why? <laughs> Why am I not using this already? And so uh, that that weekend, I I went home and rewrote my my whole app, and it was faster and uh, fewer lines of code, um, and uh, started u u using it in production only only a cu couple weeks later. So I think I, I was actually the uh, first production user of React outside of Facebook and Instagram. Oh, congratulations on that! Thanks. So. Um, in terms of uh, with React, um, a lot of people, when they've started using it, they've had some you know really interesting insights into the nature of software development and how to approach it. Is there anything that really stands out, like uh, insights that you've had since you started working with React? Um, yeah. So for me, I think it was uh, really just uh, trying to better understand the ideas of functional programming and encapsulation. And uh, and I think that, uh, you know, b before I found React, uh, if you had asked me, I would tell you that functional programming was awesome. I didn't have a ton of experience with it, and uh, that it's easier to, to to reason about your data if it's immutable, and uh, that you should create these encapsulated reusable components. But um, a lot of the work I had done was on the UI side, and uh, before React, there were, uh, weren't as as many really good tools for building UIs in a in a re really uh, componentized uh, reusable way. Um, and so I think just working with React has give, given me a much better appreciation for, uh, for exactly what uh, what what all of those I, I ideas mean. And I find myself uh, when I'm writing non-React code too that has has not, nothing to do with UIs. I I feel like I'm structuring my code better also because I've that that's carried over from my work with React. Um, final question: What do you see in the future of JavaScript and React in the next couple of years? Uh, future of JavaScript and React. Um, that that that's a that, that's a good question. I mean, JavaScript is is really exciting uh, these days. I think just because um, there's been this huge surge of interest in JavaScript because um, people. I mean, this has been happening over the, the last few years for sure. But uh, people are very interested in building uh, building highly interactive web applications. Whereas you know, if you go back five years or, or definitely ten years, people would. Uh, you know, most people you talk to wouldn't think that JavaScript was like a real uh, programming language. They'd be like, "Oh yeah, you can add like an on-click handler here and like write five lines here and five lines there." Um, but I think people have really realized that JavaScript is a true programming language, and you can build real things with it. And so uh, the JavaScript community is very quickly um, developing lots of tools to uh, to deal with all of the the problems that you have and. Uh, and I think I think it's really great to see that the JavaScript community moves very fast, um, and and especially I think like Babel is a great example of this, um, where uh, when React came out in 2013, uh, we uh, or not we but the React team su suggested that uh, people use JSX to build their components, uh, and at the time I think just even compiling your JavaScript at all was a very foreign idea to most people, um, but now uh, I think. A huge majority of the developers who are up to date on the most modern practices are compiling their JavaScript, and they're able to use these new language features. Um, and so, as JavaScript is developing, I think um, it's it's good because lots of people get to use those features very soon, even if they're uh, not, uh, you know, even if they're they're tar targeting older environments. Um, and for React, I'm just uh, looking forward to watching it mature, and uh, you know may maybe we'll uh, put some work into performance, make sure it's absolutely the fastest it can be, um, and 
And if you saw Sebastian's talk yesterday about uh, the Dom as a second class citizen, then uh, I, I think that that's also really exciting work exploring uh, alternative rendering targets for React um, that go lower level and might, might be uh, more efficient and make things possible that aren't possible now with, uh, with React or, with, or aren't easy with web browsers at all. All right, thank you very much.